Hi everyone, my name is Mateo Lopez, a student of the Salicio Polytechnic University. So in this project we are going to demonstrate how double intruders uh, can be approximated using the Monte Carlo method. Uh, this method uses summations where the limits are implied in which the function to be introduced is going to be evaluated. For this particular case, the following function uh, is the next one. We have 4 minus x squared uh, minus uh, y squared. Uh, this function are, is going to be evaluated from 0 to uh, 5 quarters. So, uh, for this, it is necessary to apply the following formula, formula for the Schiller resolution of Monte Carlo integrals. We have, we, as we can see here, we have the double summatory uh, for each uh, variable in the ori original function. We have the limit for, uh, for the x function and the limit for the, the y variable. So, <clears throat> uh, if we see here, we can see here, we have a random value here and a random value here, where x, a uh, random x value and a random uh, y value are random numbers evaluated uh, from 0 to 1. So the value of the uh, real integral is this this sorry this is the real value if we uh, integrate this function but we are going to use the use a uh, Monte Carlo method so as probably mentioned uh, the Monte Carlo method is consists of sub -um sum of a sum of n times uh, that approximate the desired integral. Uh, the more summations are made to uh, to get a better result, we have to uh, to do more uh, to use more uh, sequential executions. But we ca we we don't have to abuse of the computer computational computational capacity of our computer. So there is a way there is a way to approximate the error obtained when performing say uh, summation with the following formula. This is the formula to approximate the error of a double integral using a uh, Monte Carlo uh, uh, summatory. This is the square of the of or this this execution. Oh, sorry, this is the square of this execution. But this is this we this we can obtain using this for formula. So. If we uh, impose a limit uh, error value to which we want to arrive to perform summations until the approximation error meets the condition, for example, if we want to uh, obtain an error less than 0 0.01, we will perform, perform summations with the following results. Uh, we can see here we in the, in the first uh, execution we uh, get, we get 2.68 uh, value of error in the second execution with with tenth uh, with n equal 10 we have this error and if we uh, use 100 uh, to n value we get this this error value that is uh, minor that 0 0.01 that we 
uh, want to get. So to so now to proceed to visualize how this whole process uh, can be executed automatically automatically in Python. Uh, uh, first, I have to say to you that the, in this formula, uh, this, this value, uh, we, need, we need this value to obtain uh, this error. So, if we can see here, uh, is a Python code that uh, that uh, represents the met, uh, Monte Carlo method. And uh, let me see here. Here we uh, just um, call this class, and we in, in this in this part of the code we define the limits, the first limit, the second limit, the first number of sequences that we can we want to uh, do uh, for the first time. The condition error that we uh, we want to uh, obtain, and first value of the error obtained is is your random value, and we have um, a while condition on while buckle uh, that ask if the obtained value is uh, is is we ask if this value, sorry, if this value is higher than the condition error. So we just call a function in this class that is this one. Sorry, let me see. Okay, we just. Uh, Recover the initial value of this uh, list. We delete all uh, value that uh, that can be uh, stored of another uh, execution. So after that, we execute this method. This method. Uh, this method is defined here. We just initialize um, a square summatory and, and just a simple summatory, and we define the first random value and second random value, and we uh, make uh, the executions that we um, we define here for the first time, and. Uh, we obtain um, value, a random value for x and a random value for y and we make the summatory in the first case we just uh, plus this value, the determinant value to the summatory uh, variable and the, we have to pow this value to to to, to, to and uh, to obtain to obtain this value in order to obtain the error, the approximated error, an error approximation. After that, we we just obtain the value of the the approximated value of the integral and the the squared value that is this. To, to get the error after that we just uh, return the both values this and this value and we ask if uh, if the We ask if the of the, uh, the result of this subtraction is higher than uh, zero because if it don't uh, can uh, can give us an error in this formula because uh, we can't obtain the square root of a 
negative value so continue ah okay if it uh, uh, pass this condition we obtain the error uh, if the no if not uh, pass this condition we just uh, we just uh, show an error uh, an, an message to the to the user with this message after that we ask if the obtained error is higher than the condition error we have to uh, to plus we have to elevate the number of m of n of the sequence the the number of iterations iterations that we uh, are going to execute and if the if if the if this value is lower than this value we just finish the, the execution of the code uh, after that we just uh, uh, show to the user um, these two figures this is the original uh, the original function represented by line this is um, this is the function but the the this this image represents all the points that we obtained uh, from these executions we, as we can see here we obtain uh, 1 million executions that we can see here uh, uh, represented by 1 million points so if we want to uh, get only 10 points we just change the first condition uh, to obtain this uh, this value on a value higher or a higher value than this so let's do that let me do that sorry we change here the hope is value to 0 0.9 that I guess the give us the function that we want we want we, as we can see here we obtain a 100 points to approximate the value of the integral but it, this is not the case that we are going that we are hoping so we change this value again and we execute again we we can see here all the values that we obtained with just uh, 10, uh, 10 iterations then let me change again to 0 0.01 ok here 0 0.01 it takes a little bit time because it's a lot of work to the, comp to the computer so let me give me some seconds after do these executions we can as we can see here this value is so 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 close to the to the original value and then let me see here continue execution, executing the, the code and so just wait a little more time <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Mm, wait, 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 wait. We are just waiting to to obtain the. Ah, okay, okay. With the figures, this does this both figures. 
the original image, the original fusion, and the uh, obtained fusion with one million points again. So that's all. And this is the Monte Carlo method uh, for a uh, multiple uh, limited uh, interval. So thanks for watching.